all right guys in this video i'm going to show you how you can get html attribute of an element using puppeteer so for this tutorial we will be going to google.com and we will try to get the attribute of this input box as you can see in the developer tools this input box is having multiple attributes like class is there max length name type j section some area attributes then we also have one data attribute and the select for this is name equal to q so let's go back to vs code editor and try to fetch some of the attributes so let's first get the type attribute so to get the type attribute we will say const type attribute equal to await page dot dollar eval so this will run the document dot query selector and for this we need to pass the element identifier so we will say input and this selector is having name of q so this will select the element now in the function we can pass this element and we need to get the attribute so we'll say element dot get attribute and the attribute that we want is type so once we have the type attribute we can just console dot log the type attribute Similarly, we can copy this and now in this case, we are going to get the class. So we can say get attribute class and we can change this to class as well and change this as well. All right. Similarly, we can get the data attribute. So if we look at the test page, this particular element is having a data hyphen wet. So we need to get this attribute. So we will say data hyphen wet. And this is the data attribute for us. So we'll copy this and paste this. So let's try out our script, open the terminal and type node index.js. And as you can see here, the type it printed as text. That was the first console.log. In the next console.log, we printed the class attribute. So this is the class name. And for the data attribute, it printed the value of data hyphen wet and that is how guys you can fetch the data attributes of an element using puppeter if you enjoyed this video please smash that like button and make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification so you get the latest update whenever i post a new video see you in next one